Good afternoon and welcome to the latest NASA webinar. Today's webinar is an update on the Victoria Falls Safari Club and a destination Victoria Falls update presented by Africa Albida's CEO, Ross Kennedy. There will be a recording made of the webinar, which will be distributed after the event to everyone who has registered. At the end of the webinar, there will be time for Q&A. If you have any questions, simply type these into the chat box and I'll pose them to Ross at the end of the presentation. So I will now hand over to Ross, who will take you through his presentation. Ross, over to you. Thank you, Chris. Uh, good afternoon, everybody, from uh, wherever you may be in the world. And uh, thank you very much for making time for us uh, to uh, share a little bit of the latest news from uh, Zimbabwe, from Victoria Falls, and of course, from ourselves at, at Africa Alberta Tourism. Um, I'm going to start in, and Zim in general because uh, it's important because the, the changes have been uh, quite significant in the last year and increasingly so uh, in the last uh, six, eight months. The arrivals into uh, Victoria Falls uh, are growing uh, incredibly rapidly. Uh, the first four months of this year, for example, the numbers of passengers through Victoria Falls Airport uh, was up by some uh, 70, uh, 17,800 people um, compared to the first four months of last year. Uh, so uh, I've used the numbers because obviously percentages uh, can be distorted, but when you understand that the growth uh, of, uh, of 17,800 people through the airport, those are significant numbers. In uh, hotel occupancies in Victoria Falls, we measure 11 properties uh, every night of the year, uh, from uh, ourselves through to Vic Falls Hotel, uh, African Sun, Rainbow, Ilala, etc. 1,125 bedrooms. Uh, in the first four months of this year, those occupancies are up 16.5%. Uh, uh, and and uh, that's, um, that's nearly 7,000 additional uh, rooms sold in the first four months of the year. It would traditionally have been low season. So, in addition to that, uh, average room rates are up and uh, revenue per available room uh, is up. And those are two key indicators for hoteliers uh, to watch and monitor. It's a, a very key and clear indicator of uh, how your business is doing. And those are very, very positive. The, uh, the four borders that serve the Victoria Falls and, and Wangi area, as an example, uh, the bridge at Victoria Falls between us and Zambia, uh, Kazangula between us and Botswana, uh, the airport, of course, Victoria Falls Airport, and then Panda Matenga, which is uh, in, uh, on the border between Botswana and, and Zimbabwe, but uh, uh, on the Wangi National Park boundary. The first four months of this year, uh, 87,000 more people crossed those four border posts. Um, of course, not all of them were, were tourists, but uh, it's estimated that approximately 80% of them were tourists. So the relevance of all of those statistics is that uh, the growth is there and the demand is there. The forward book uh, for most of Victoria Falls, for most of Wangi, uh, is, uh, is quite remarkable compared to the last few years. Uh, new lodges, camps, B&Bs, uh, hotel expansions, uh, hotel upgrades, restaurants, bars, a new brewery, new activities, um, in, uh, in Vic Falls, um, but also quite a bit of that in Wangi too. In Mana, there's new ships and uh, uh, Kariba, new houseboats, uh, a, a very large upgrade um, at uh, Boomi Hills, for example. Uh, so across the country, uh, this impact is, is being felt. And uh, from uh, a tourism point of view, and of course, none of us can market our products first before uh, we market the country and before we ensure that uh, those of you who are here listening to us today and those of you uh, across the, the uh, supply markets who, who uh, feed us customers, um, it's important to know what's going on here. Uh, the road infrastructure is being upgraded across the country as we speak. Uh, the, uh, by now, I'm sure you know that the, uh, the, the scourge of the roadblocks went away in, uh, in late uh, November, early December. Uh, domestic travel has started again. Air access has grown and continues to grow. Um, I, I can't tell you who, but I can tell you that uh, an operator in Zimbabwe 
is currently waiting for a couple of signatures um, from uh, a couple of government departments to bring in four caravans to start servicing the uh, the what we used to call the milk run Harare, Kariba, Wangi, uh, Victoria Falls, and other parts of the country. So investors are coming. So uh, that's an overview of uh, of the destination and of um, as a country and of uh, Victoria Falls itself. So let's move on now to. Um, to uh, Africa Alberta Tourism itself, where we uh, continue to invest money, we continue to uh, upgrade in product, in people, um, in uh, in training, in uh, our offering and experiences that uh, we uh, we uh, uh, sell to guests and and uh, through yourselves, of course. Um, and so we just completed at the end of March a, a four month. Uh, upgrade of uh, Victoria Falls Safari Club. Uh, it was closed for a while. I've just put up on the map now just to remind you, of course, that uh, uh, the remarkable location that uh, Victoria Falls itself has uh, and um, uh, the, uh, the relation to the rest of uh, Zimbabwe, but also Botswana. Uh, countries in one go. Of course, the falls right now in peak, peak flood, the, uh, the falls and the river have been at their highest for over 10 years, uh, and it's looking magnificent. I was at Kariba on the weekend. The lake was rising five, uh, two to five centimeters per day and is looking just wonderful. Just to remind you, for uh, perhaps there's some, uh, some newcomers to uh, the industry or to uh, our part of the world uh, amongst you listening, and just to remind you that that's the, the topography of the falls. Uh, and um, you can see that where the numbers are, that is the rainforest in Zimbabwe. Um, so something in the order of uh, 80 to 85% of the viewpoints of Victoria Falls from a tourist perspective are, of course, in the, the rainforest uh, within uh, Zimbabwe. Um, that said, we recommend to people that uh, they do their best to see the falls and the river from both sides, from, the, uh, from Zimbabwe and Zambia. Um, and of course, in the dry months, um, uh, people staying in Zambia uh, should always cross into Zimbabwe to see what's happening on, uh, in terms of uh, the, the, the water level and falling, the water falling over the falls. Just to remind you that um, the, from a geography point of view, um, Victoria Falls itself is, um, is like a small village, quite frankly. Um, from, from the center of town and from the falls itself, from the rainforest. Um, it's no more than five kilometers to about 95% of, of any property and any um, activity that you may wish to, to do, any uh, food and beverage outlet, etc., etc. And you can see us there on the left of the screen uh, uh, where we're located, just four kilometers from the rainforest, three kilometers from town, 24 kilometers from the airport, on a 220-acre private estate. We border the national park. Uh, however, there's no fences. And, and of course, we have a, a natural on-site waterhole uh, that is uh, heavily frequented by game uh, throughout the year. So Victoria Force Safari Club, we built seven years ago. It's our premium uh, brand uh, built next door to uh, Victoria Force Safari Lodge, our flagship that's been around now since December 94. And uh, Vic Force Safari Club, uh, was built uh, to create a separate premium brand that the market was uh, was requesting and demanding. Uh, you can see I've just put the map up on the screen there, uh, and uh, the uh, you can see the waterhole and uh, the central building directly behind it. And move off to the left, and there you see the three darker buildings. Those are our Victoria Falls Safari Club. Um, uh, I've just been reminded that I can, in fact, use my cursor to um, to point these things out to you. Um, I'm often accused of being an IT pygmy, so forgive me for that, but um, it's, uh, it's the way I am. So there's Victoria Falls Safari Club. Uh, those, uh, those three buildings there, bedroom block, central clubhouse, bedroom block, and now a magnificent new uh, pool deck and gazebo and, and two swimming pools adjacent. And in the project that we completed, the, the central building was uh, more than doubled in size, given its own kitchen and its own restaurant, and is now a, a full service club product where guests who want to check in and not leave the club for two or three days, uh, they, can, uh, they can do so and uh, 
all their normal needs, uh, apart from activities, are, are delivered there. Uh, that map uh, just shows you the layout of uh, the entire property um, with uh, Big Four Safari Lodge, uh, Victoria Four Safari Club, the, the six Victoria Four Safari suites there, um, four two bedroom and two three bedroom. And then these units here and these units down here are the remainder, the remaining 31 Lockatula Lodges, uh, both uh, a, a hotel style product with a B and B and meal plan, or indeed self catering, and some of them are still uh, connected to timeshare through RCI. And then, of course, the uh, the very famous uh, Boma dinner and drum show. Uh, the club uh, central block, as I said, we doubled it in size, uh, and this picture just indicates to you that we 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 are in a, a, a very natural uh, bush environment with uh, uh, absolute uh, uh, wild. Uh, uh, animals that uh, pass through. We have uh, 17 or so bushbuck that um, uh, are resident uh, around the estate. As I said, it's 220 acres, but we have no fences and uh, therefore the game can uh, move freely in and out. Uh, quite a few of these bushbuck will have been born on the property and uh, therefore are, are uh, relatively uh, habituated to, to human movement. Very lush, natural indigenous estate. We do not uh, permit a single non-indigenous plant or tree to be uh, grown on the estate. Um, and we maintain it in as natural a condition as possible. Uh, Safari Club has uh, hostesses and guest relations people who look after the guests. We have uh, golf carts that uh, uh, are there for the uh, service of guests from the club and Safari Suites. Um, and uh, we'll move guests around from uh, the lodge reception to the club reception, um, et cetera, et cetera, uh, and absolutely on call. So here's a, a picture of the uh, of the club uh, taken from uh, one of the uh, one of the sides uh, towards uh, the safari suites. And um, if you look at the clubhouse building, which is the building on the left, um, the in the recent project, uh, it was extended from approximately this line here to be um, almost double the size that it had previously been. So it is now a much more spacious product. It has its own kitchen. It has its own um, restaurant uh, and uh, obviously a full service a clubhouse with uh, 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 concierge style butler service. The rooms uh, in the club are uh, approximately 60% larger than the rooms in Victoria Falls Safari Lodge. Uh, uh, very spacious, open plan. You can see the headboard wall there behind the pillows. Um, it does not go all the way to the top. Um, however, we do have a, a screen that uh, guests can drop down if they wish to, if they wish for more privacy from the bathroom, because the bathroom is situated behind uh, that headboard. A very large um, open uh, plan bathroom with a, a full size uh, tub, a large walk in shower, separate uh, uh, a toilet, of course. Uh, there's an example of, uh, of a, club, a lay, club room laid up as a, as a twin. There's an example of that screen I was talking about um, that's been pulled down behind uh, the headboard. It's, uh, it's fixed on the ceiling and it operates on a very, very simple. Um, uh, uh, pull up and down system like uh, like blinds and curtains that you might have in your own house. Um, but uh, for those uh, guests who wish for a little bit more uh, privacy in the bathroom, uh, then uh, that uh, that facility is there. As you can see from that picture, the front wall of all the club rooms is uh, is glass. The middle section uh, is uh, full sliding open, and there's a gauze screen that you can slide back across. The rooms are all air-conned and, and air-conditioned, of course, as you would expect. So there's a view from uh, taken from uh, standing behind the headboard in the bathroom out uh, across the bedroom, uh, looking through that uh, the, the front of the room, as I said. Uh, all the rooms have a balcony. And uh, we face west, therefore sunset, and, of course, over the, the, uh, the, the park and natural bush felt. The club has four suites. Uh, which uh, have this additional uh, lounge area uh, attached to them. Um, and uh, as you can see, a, a, a second um, set of glazing onto the, the front 
Um, uh, a couple of the suites are interleading to standard rooms. So often we have uh, VIPs who have either um, uh, secretaries, um, uh, assistants for the children, uh, security, etc. And uh, the, the layout of the club uh, affords that uh, where it's required. The bathroom area, you can see a, uh, a, a, the toilet there with a, a, a full close uh, a door and full privacy, a, a, a large walk-in shower, the, the, the vanity uh, unit there, uh, and uh, the large tub bath. Uh, as part of the project we just completed, uh, next to the club we added uh, its own uh, pool decks uh, and uh, gazebo. And uh, this is proving to be a great hit. It was one of the, the criticisms that we had of the club. And um, therefore, we uh, made it a key part of the development. Here's a picture taken from the end of uh, one of the, the guest uh, passageways at the club looking down onto the new pool. Uh, you can see that's uh, the, the, the right-hand longer pool that you can see there. Um, and behind the tree um, to the left, you can see there's another pool, but I'll come to another shot in a moment. And off to the left there, there's the gazebo and a very large deck area uh, all around. This pool here, um, the straight line length is uh, 16 meters. So for those who wish to, uh, to do laps in the mornings and or evenings, um, uh, that uh, uh, can be done. And um, of course, whilst it's not uh, shaped like a, a traditional lap pool, but uh, the straight line there does facilitate a 16 meter straight swim. Then this is the top pool, which is uh, uh, more in the shape of a, a plunge pool. It's also deeper, and um, as you can see, it spills over on a waterfall down into the lower pool. And there you can see the expansive decking below and up on top here. And away to the left there, you will see there's a water hole there. In fact, there's, um, there's three small water holes that spill into each other. Uh, we get an awful lot of bird life coming there. Uh, warthog, uh, bushbuck, impala, coon uh, uh, come and go, um, as do various other things. So. From the club, uh, you've got not only a clear view of the uh, the waterhole at Safari Lodge, you now have this new one. And here's a, a nighttime aerial shot uh, of the pool areas. You can see uh, a fabulous atmosphere and ambience, and uh, can be used by club guests for for dinners and uh, and uh, cocktail parties and events and pre-dinner drinks, etc. Into the clubhouse, and uh, there's no defined one lounge area, one dining area. Uh, we try to uh, work with all the club guests to uh, to eat uh, meals in different parts of the clubhouse. You'll see it split level there. Uh, there's a higher level there. Um, and um, the, the the club management and, and uh, butlers are, are very flexible in, in uh, uh, working with our guests to be able to uh, relax and uh, eat and have sundowners in different uh, places at different times of day and the evenings. So there's a view from the right-hand side of the clubhouse. Uh, looking across to the, the water hole there, which in fact is in front of, of Safari Lodge. Um, and uh, one of the, the, uh, the great uh, virtues that came from this uh, clubhouse expansion was uh, a, a much better view of the, the water hole and of animals frequenting. So he has a few uh, different layups and, and different options that uh, can be done for, for meals uh, during the day. Um, we've got dedicated chef and, and uh, uh, kitchen brigade for the club, uh, and it's a very personalized uh, style of, of uh, uh, food and beverage, um, talking to guests, discussing with guests their, their needs. Uh, a couple of things to finish off as we, we reach uh, the end before uh, Chris may go to questions. One of the, the great things we do there is the vulture culture experience that happens below Victoria Falls Safari Lodge game deck every day at 1300. We have a blind down there. Um, one of our guides uh, greets guests first on an upper deck, gives them a 10-minute briefing about vultures and uh, why they're endangered and why we do this, uh, this uh, vulture culture experience. Uh, and it's proved to be incredibly popular, incredibly informative. And uh, one of the things we do is that uh, people who stay for lunch afterwards, we give a, a dollar per dish from a number of dishes on the menu that uh, goes to the, the uh, uh, Vulture uh, Preservation Foundation. Uh, the Life of David Livingston talk is something that's conducted most days of the week on a special deck below Safari Lodge. 
And for that time uh, before checkout, uh, before transfers on checkout day for many guests, you've got that dead hour, hour and a half when guests have uh, uh, emptied their room, packed their luggage, paid their bill, and are now waiting for the bus. And this is a great time uh, for to a great way, excuse me, to fill that time. It's a, a truly fascinating talk, um, and certainly worth uh, people doing. The famous Boma. Um, dinner and drum show last year 71,000 dinners there and it continues to be a great success and uh, a great uh, must do in Vic Falls. Uh, we never rest on our laurels and we uh, continue to upgrade, to review, to uh, put new energy into it uh, and um, it continues to be uh, a, a great success for us. Folks that brings us to the end of, of our time and the end of our presentation. Thanks again for, uh, for making time for us today and thank you for uh, for uh, supporting us at Africa Alberta to Tourism. Back to you, Chris. Chris, are you there? Chris? Hi, Chris. Hello, Chris. Hello, Chris. Ah, my audio is bad. Audio is bad. Sorry about ah, that. Ah, good. Um, uh, thank you very much for that fantastic presentation. Um, wonderful to see and hear some of those arrival stats and the, the growth that is happening in Zimbabwe at the moment. Um, just looking at uh, one of the questions that have come through, uh, firstly from Zoe Carroll. Uh, Ross, can you advise all the extras which are included at the club? Certainly, thanks, Chris. Um, at the club, uh, the rate has a number of inclusions that uh, make it uh, extremely worthwhile uh, buying the club product, and that's uh, that's everything from uh, laundry uh, to afternoon tea. Uh, we uh, uh, intentionally have not called it high tea because we don't want to uh, uh, pretend to be encroaching on on the wonderful high tea served at Victoria Falls Hotel. Uh, but we uh, we offer a, a great product at afternoon tea at in the clubhouse, complimentary uh, afternoon and evening uh, sundowners and cocktails uh, in the clubhouse, um, complimentary courtesy shuttle bus into town uh, from quarter to eight in the morning until ten at night. The uh, the mini bar contents, which are beer, wine, soft drinks, and water, are complimentary. Um, so, uh, when you add up all the value of that and then compare that with uh, either uh, our Victoria Falls Fire Lodge rate or with other properties rates, it certainly is worth uh, uh, looking at the club as uh, a product of choice. If you have customers who travel business and first class as a matter of choice, then the club should be their product. Great. Thank you, Ross. Um, if there are there any other questions coming through? Uh, if so, I can address those to Ross. Um, 
If not, I'd like to just say, Ross and your team, thank you very much. Uh, it looks fantastic. I'm very much looking forward to seeing it myself when I come down to the falls later on this year um, and also see all the other developments that are happening in and around Zim then. Um, so at this stage, it doesn't look like there are any more questions. Um, so we will wrap up. Um, Ross, thank you very much. Chris, thank you. Thanks for uh, organizing. Thanks to ATA for uh, arranging these uh, fabulous webinar opportunities. And thank you so much to all the uh, uh, colleagues in the industry who've uh, made time to register and listen today and or will uh, get the audio later. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.